This educational video is intended to help children build their vocabulary for the purpose of their general knowledge, as well as to improve their scores on state and other standardized exams. Please pause the video to read the purpose, scope, and warnings related to this video. This video has a free student engagement worksheet that can also be used as a quiz. It's available in many formats. Please see the link in the description to download this. In this video, we'll learn the definition of these words. We'll do that by focusing on the meaning of the word parts, which make up each word. The word root civil means society. More generally, the root civil refers to a large group of people living together. The word root civil is part of many words. The key meaning of civil is that people make and follow rules. This is one of the key ways that make us different than wild animals. When used alone, the word part civil means that people are nice to each other. For example, civil behavior includes having manners, waiting in line until it's our turn, and being polite to each other. The word civility also has the word root civil. It can mean being civil, such as having nice manners. It can also mean polite conversation. Here's an example. The business meeting began by the members exchanging civilities. Each person asked how the other person was doing. The word civilized refers to behavior that follows laws and order. Although we expect a child to eat with her or his hands, if an adult did this, we might say that's uncivilized behavior. If people talk over each other or call each other names, we might say that's uncivilized. And if adults physically fight or break the law, then for sure that's uncivilized behavior. The word civilization refers to the language, laws, and social structure that a group of people have who live together. For example, the ancient Greek civilization from 2,000 years ago is famous for being the first democratic government and for their math discoveries. Many of their ideas about government philosophy, science, and math are still being taught in schools today. In everyday use, we often include technology as part of what we mean when we say the word civilization. Here's an example of the word civilization in a sentence. Many people enjoy camping in the wilderness, but after a few days they're relieved to get back to the comforts of modern civilization. The term civil engineering refers to the design, construction, and maintenance of major structures that are used by many people, such as in a city. There are several branches of civil engineering. One branch is focused on how to ensure that we get fresh water from our faucets. Another branch is focused on how to make safe and strong bridges of all types. Another branch specializes in designing roads and airports so that they can help transport millions of people per day. And civil engineers work with architects to design large buildings such as skyscrapers and stadiums. The word civilian is made of the word root civil and a word forming suffix. We use the word civilian to describe someone who is not currently in the military. In the U.S., that describes about 99 out of every 100 people. In contrast to most civilians who live in their own homes and do regular jobs, people in the military might be assigned to work and live on a ship or to work and live on a submarine. Military numbers are not civilians. The term civil service can have slightly different meanings based on the country and state where someone lives. In the U.S., the federal civil service refers to everyone employed by the U.S. government with the exception of those who are in the military or have been elected. That includes mail carriers, TSA staff in airports, people who work for NASA and judges. Thanks for your attention.